I can't stay silent about this anymore. I was originally going to make a video about this anyway, but then I saw something this morning that completely sent me over the edge. It is absolutely ridiculous what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, literally, uh, I, I can't even believe it because I think it's an absolute joke. Uh, but Elon Musk has announced that he is suing Media Matters for America. Not only that, <laughs> not only that, but Ken Paxton, the attorney general in Texas, also announced last night, and this is what prompted me to make this video right now, that he is launching an investigation into Media Matters for potential fraudulent activity. We're going to get to the Ken Paxton thing in a minute. We're going to do that last. Um, but let's go over just really quickly what Elon Musk is alleging Media Matters did. Because, guys, it's a, it's a doozy. Let me tell you. Elon Musk's ex sued Media Matters for America for defamation on Monday after the left-leaning nonprofit released a report on ads on X running next to pro-Nazi content and helped trigger an advertiser exodus. The lawsuit filed on the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas Fort Worth Division alleged the organization's tactics were manipulative and deceptive. X alleged that Media Matters exploited the platform to have ads appear this way, which includes excessive scrolling and curating its feed with fringe content. The overall effect on advertisers and users was to create the false, misleading perception that these types of pairings were common, widespread, and, alar and alarming, the lawsuit reads. Uh, and then they talk about um, the ex-CEO who was coming out and, you know, doing shitty propaganda and lying about it. Um, but for those of you that may not know, really quick, uh, when I do these videos, I use Media Matters so much. Like, I would argue probably more than half of my video catalog, I'm using clips that Media Matters posted, okay? I'm not super great at linking clips that I react to in the description, but... Uh, I mean, you can tell when I'm watching, usually when I'm watching a clip on Media Matters, because it's got the big blue circle play button. I use Media Matters all the time, and they do incredible work. When you go on Media Matters and read any article, look at any clip, look at anything, they don't put their opinion in. There's no like, oh, well, you know, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. All they do is just report straight facts. That's all they do. That is all Media Matters does. Okay, they're a nonprofit. Um, they are a, a nonprofit organization. Um, but the, the, the thing about this is, uh, well, really quick also, these are the, uh, articles that, uh, X and Elon Musk are alleging helped a bunch of advertisers leave X and pull their ads from X. They also wrote an article about the companies pulling ads from X, but uh, th this is the article in question. X is placing ads for Amazon, MBA, Mexico, NBC Universal, and others next to content with white nationalist hashtags, and they go on to list examples of that happening. And Elon Musk is saying, well, you know, you guys actually manipulated the entire website to make it seem like this. And here's the thing about this. Elon, if that's true... You're, then you're fucking stupid, and your site fucking sucks. A small nonprofit like Media Matters, because you guys can go and look up all of the uh, uh, the financials for Media Matters. If they are able to manipulate your website this fucking badly to make it seem like uh, to present what they said that they're uh, presenting, if a small organization like Media Matters is able to manipulate your website to this degree, you're a fucking idiot, dog. It's the website that's the problem, not Media Matters and fucking, uh, not whatever you're saying. If this is true, if what he is saying is true, it's still his fucking fault. It's his fault for not knowing how to fucking run a social media platform. And I mean, I, I feel like that's pretty obvious, right? If he's really saying <laughs> that they manipulated, they manipulated the website to make it seem like, to make it seem like this was something that's happening. It's bullshit. It's so bullshit. Um, but I think that the real bullshit, honestly, aside from the lawsuit, is this disgusting, absolutely disgusting terrible, huge waste of fucking time, Ken Paxton saying he's going to launch an investigation into media matters for potential fraudulent activity. This is a waste of government time and resources. This is a waste of the, you, the a waste of time for the people that fucking chose to put you where you're at. What are we doing here in America? We have attorney generals, attorneys general fucking 
uh, launching investigations into media matters for potential fraudulent activity. Why? There's no fraud going on. The Office of the Attorney General is opening an investigation into media matters for potential fraudulent activity. Why? You haven't alleged anything. You're just saying you're going to investigate them for fraud. Why are you wasting the American people's time? Why do Republicans waste Americans' time? They waste all of our fucking time with the most frivolous, dumb shit ever. This reminds me back at the beginning of this year when the Republicans were holding fucking hearings on Twitter censoring a Hunter Biden laptop story from the New York Post. They just are, Republicans are literally just a waste of time in and of themselves. They are a joke. This is why other countries laugh at us. Because we're fucking stupid. We have people like Ken Paxton who go on camera and talk about literally throwing out votes illegally. Who says now, I'm opening an investigation uh, into media matters for potential fraudulent activity. It's not fraud. You're mad that they're exposing fucking uh, the rights lies. And that's exactly what Media Matters does. They do incredible fucking work. That's why I use them all the fucking time. This, this lawsuit and this investigation from Ken Paxton basically boils down to, you made me angry. It's not Media Matters' fault that these companies pulled their advertisers. It's your fucking fault, bitch. It's your fault, Elon. It's no one else's doing but yours. You are the reason Twitter is worth less than half of what you paid for it. You are the reason that all of these companies are pulling ads. And this is something that happened last year. P companies were pulling ads last year. I don't know if you guys remember, but they were doing this last year too. And it had nothing to do with Media Matters. Just like this has nothing to do with Media Matters. They presented the facts that they had available to them. They presented the facts as they were. That's all they did. They posted them on their website like they normally do. And Elon's saying, well, it's a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. They can sit there and say whatever they want. And, and we know Elon is lying about this. And also, another thing, I didn't, I, I completely forgot about this. Erin Reed, who I uh, was using some of her work yesterday in my video I made that had nothing to do with this, tweeted out, holy shit, if you search Heil Hitler, you get a ton of ads. I literally just got the German government's come live in Germany ad on the search. The German government is literally accidentally advertising to Hitler searchers to come live in Germany. Media Matters was not lying. And she provides a screenshot where she searched Heil Hitler in the little Twitter search bar here. And she's scrolling. And what, do you, what does she see in the middle of her, uh, in the middle of the feed here? Make it, make it in Germany. Uh, literal ad from the German government to, you know, uh, come live here. You guys have seen those ads before. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then in between, another uh, Heil Hitler post from some probably crazy motherfucker. And she said, seriously, try it yourself and take screenshots before Musk tries to pretend it never happened. And then uh, someone else responded, Heil Hitler is trending because users are reporting that ads for the German government and various companies are appearing next to searches for it. It appears that Twitter has now nuked all ads in search results. And that's exactly what they did. They did do that last night. After this tweet went live and people started talking about it, Twitter went in and they literally fucking... So if you go in right now and go to the search, you're not going to see any ads no matter what. Not going to see anything because they're going in and they're changing it. They're going in right now and undoing all of the things that Media Matters was alleging. So then they can come in and say, oh, well, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, look at this. There, it's defamation. Uh, it, it's, it's, I don't know how the fuck it's fraud. I, I don't understand how Ken Paxton is calling it fraud. I mean, even Elon Musk here says fraud has both civil and criminal penalties, but I don't, what is the fraud part? I, I mean, like, he's alleging defamation, okay. I mean, that's not, it's not, that's not something that they did either, but where is the, can someone explain to me the fraud part? I know fraud can mean a lot of different things, and, you know, committing fraud can be a, uh, a spectrum, really, of so many different th crimes. But, like, what what is the fraud part? And, and then it goes on to say, I didn't even finish it, Attorney General Paxton was extremely troubled by the allegations that Media Matters, a radical anti-free speech organization, fraudulently manipulated data on X. I, I mean, uh, this is this is just the greatest... This is the greatest waste of time I have ever seen from any politician 
ever at all. Ken Paxton is a joke. Republicans are a joke. Um, if you live in Texas, um, please phone up Attorney General Ken Paxton and tell him. Uh, I mean, you know, you gotta. I guess you have to be nice to these people and civil, which I don't agree with. I think civility is unimportant in most contexts. Um, when you're trying to get a message across, that's important. I don't think being civil matters at all. Um, call up Ken Paxton and you know, uh, just tell him that he's wasting your time as an American citizen because he is wasting government resources, wasting your time, wasting everybody's time uh, with something so dumb. Just I don't even know. I, I don't even know what else to say about it. I just uh, I'm gonna sit here and fight for media matters, no matter what. Um, there's no fraud. They didn't manipulate the data on X to make it seem like this was going on. Again, I think that that's so fucking funny that he thinks an organization like Media Matters is sitting there behind the scenes manipulating the entire Twitter website to make this story. Uh, just to, I mean, like, he's, like, trying to make it seem like Media Matters is, like, a supervillain where, like, they did this, went in, manipulated everything, made it seem like these uh, ads were playing next to the super racist content, which they were, um, posted a story about it, and then made all of the advertisers leave X. Like, that was their master plan that they had been cooking up for months. They were like, oh, yeah, we're going to totally take Elon Musk down. Like, that's their mission. Because Media Matters has existed since 2004. So I'm pretty sure that that was their mission, guys. Um, to take down Elon Musk, as uh, to tear down his empire he has built on X. That's Media Matters' entire game plan. since they, And they were created in 2004, so they've been on it for... 2023? They've been on it for almost 20 years! I mean, of course it's fraud. Of, of course. Of course it's defamation, right? 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 When you say it out loud, it all makes sense, right? That's going to be it for the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Press that bell, turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload. Guys, let me know what you thought of Elon Musk's lawsuit against Media Matters. Let me know what you think of Ken Paxton, Attorney General Ken Paxton, who uh, literally admitted to throwing away votes on camera. Uh, let me know what you think of Ken Paxton launching an investigation into Media Matters for potential fraudulent activity, whatever the fuck that means. Um, and please, 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 please check out the video that I made yesterday. I think it's a really great video, super important stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.